changing fractions to percentages. Percentages, as we say, is a topic on its own. And we know that percentage is over 100. Because in our schools, exams are marked over 100. You can mark an exam over 200, over 300, over 400. So the symbol for percentage is this. This means every answer you get under this session, you should add this one to it. Other than that, the examiner or your teacher will mark you wrong. So to change fraction to percentage, you multiply the fraction given by 100%. To change fraction to percentage, you multiply the fraction given by 100%. Now, let me use variable as an illustrative example here. Given A over B, if you are asked to change this fraction to percentage, one may ask, how will we get a number for this? This is just an illustrative example. It becomes A over B times 100%. And this one, they are numbers, but I just want you to know that to change fractions to percentages, you must multiply the fraction given in the question by 100%. And this portion, it's always in our objectives. That's our final exams, B, C, both primary and also senior high. Even session B, they can drop this question. Let's use figures to illustrate examples. fraction to percentage, you multiply it by 100%. So it becomes 1 over 2 times 100%. You see this 2 is divisible by what? 100. Always they will give you a number that is divisible by this percentage. At times they will give you a number that is not divisible by this 100%. That is where you should use long division and we haven't reached that section but now I will give you a number that is always divisible by this hundred and we know that if two people are going to share hundred oranges this means each person will get what? 50 so our answer is 50 percent once you don't bring this percentage you haven't leave your answer in percentage, so you bring your 50 percentage. Example 2, and we move on to the last example. Example 2, change. 3 over 10 to percentage and to change this one to percentage you multiply the fraction given by 100% so the simplest way you use this 0 to cancel this 0 or 10 goes into 100 how many times? 10 times you are still arriving at the same answer so 10 times 3, we are getting 30%. That's our final answer. Let's take the last example under this session. Last example under this session.
change change level over twenty to percentage to percentage and to change every fraction to percentage you multiply the fraction given by hundred percent so it becomes eleven over twenty times hundred percent because you cannot violate the principle under mathematics you multiply it by hundred percent if I say you can't violate the principle this means you cannot multiply it by fifty percent by two hundred percent it's always hundred percent so this will cancel out this two goes here one two goes here five 5 by 5, we are getting 55%. Let me give us certain questions on this so that we can try our hands on it at our leisure time or when standing. Change, change the following change the following the following fractions to percentage we have one one three over five two four over ten Three one over twenty five. Thank you, and this brings us to the end of this session.